Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about law of total probability. Law of total probability is one of the useful tools that we use in many different problems uh, of probability. So, consider uh, the following scenario. Suppose that I have a sample space S. And suppose that uh, we partition this sample space to you know, some sets. So, let's say B1, B2 b3 b4 in this case is a partition of s it could be any numbers of you know, these sets um, so the eyes are a partition of the sample space s which means that their union is equal to the whole set the whole sample space s and they are disjoint right they don't share any elements so bi intersection with bj is equal to empty if i is not equal to j okay so now suppose that i have uh, uh, any other event a let's a be a, 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 any other set in s you know such as this one then what happens if you look at the picture here we see that a is also partitioned into four uh, sets uh, let's call this one a1 this part a2 this part a3 and this part a4 okay so in other words uh, we define a1 to be a intersection with b1 a2 is a intersection with b2 and so on so well and a of course is equal to a1 union a2 union a3 union a4 again the, the number four is just you know arbitrary here you could choose any different partition uh, any number of you know sets here b1 up to b10 or anything so then probability of a is equal to the probability of this union but because these are disjoint sets by the third axiom of probability we can write probability of a is equal to probability of a1 plus probability of a2 plus probability of a3 and probability of a4 and that is basically law of total probability so basically i can write this is a summation remember a i is equal to a intersection with b i so this is summation over i probability of a and b i so that's the rule so if b i's are partition of uh, sample space s then probability of any event a can be written as uh, the summation of uh, probability of a intersection with bi now why is this useful there are scenarios in which we know probability of a intersection with bi's but we are interested in the probability of a so we use the law of total probability and we will see an example of that shortly in particular this is useful when we have the conditional probabilities of a given bi so we have a problem in which we know probability of a given b i's for i equals one two three and so on but we are interested in probability of the event a now why is this useful remember the probability of a and b i can be written as probability of a inter given b i times probability of b i right this is just a definition of conditional probability if you remember from last times uh, the conditional probability of a given bi is simply probability of a and bi divided by probability of bi so if you multiply both sides by probability of bi we obtain that probability of bi a intersection with bi is equal to probability of a given bi times by probability of bi okay so let me you know summarize this so here's a summary of what we have so basically this is all we have discussed so far if I have uh, sets B1, B2, B3, and so on, uh, if they are a partition of the sample space S, then for any event A, the probability of A can be written uh, as this summation here, summation of probability of A and BI, which is equal to this summation. Probability of A given BI times probability of BI. Okay, so let's look at an example to make sure we understand this concept here. 
So here is an example. I have three bags that each contains 100 marbles. So bag one has uh, 75 red marbles and 25 blue marbles. Bag two has 60 red and 40 blue marbles. Bag three has 45 red and 55 blue marbles. And I do this random, ex uh, random experiment. I choose one of the bags at random and then pick a marble from that bag at random. Okay, so the question is, what is the probability that chosen marble is red? So I suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video. Okay, so let's uh, solve this problem. Um, in this problem, uh, my sample space, S, uh, can be divided into three sets. Either I choose bag one, or I choose bag two, or I choose bag three. Right? That's what happens here. Now, note that in this problem, let's call this probability chosen marble being red, let's call it the event R. We are interested in probability of R, right? But we don't know what PR probability of R is uh, right now. But we do know, we know probability of R given that I have chosen a specific bag. So if I have chosen bag one, right, then I know what probability of R is, right? It's given in the problem is, uh, you know, there, there are 100 marbles in the bag, 75 of them are red. So basically the probability of being red is 75 over 100. So if I know which bag the marble is from, then it is easy. We can calculate that probability. But the problem is that uh, we don't know which bag is being chosen. But the good thing is that we, you know, we have the conditional probability. So that's a you know typical scenario in which we can use law of total probability. Remember, we have the conditional probabilities, but we are interested in the unconditional probability. So in this case, let's call the event that I choose bag one B one the event that I choose back to B2 and the event that I choose back 3 B3. So in this problem, I know probability of R given B1 is equal to 0.75. Probability of R given B2 is what? Um, how many bags? So 60 red, 40 blue, so it becomes 0.6. And finally, probability of R given bag is 3 is equal to 0.45. So we know all of these things, um, and we are interested in probability of R. Now, note that B1, B2, B3 is a partition of um, the sample space S. So B1, B2, B3 is a partition of the sample space S. Uh, you know, I choose one of the bags, exactly one of the bags. B1 and B2 do not uh, have any common elements. They, they are not, uh, they are disjoint in fact. So I cannot, if I choose bag one, I, I'm not gonna choose bag two and so on. And also I will choose, uh, definitely I'll choose one of them. So the reunion is the entire sample space. So this is a partition of the sample space and we can use the law of total probability. So law of total probability, by the law of total probability, the probability of that I choose a red marble is equal to summation over i probability of r given bi times probability of bi. Okay, so what is this? Um, first of all, probability of bi you know is equal to one third for each of the bags. I choose one of them at random, uniform at random. So this becomes one over three probability of R given B1 plus probability of R given B2 plus probability of R given B3. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over 3 and we have these numbers here 0 0.75 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.45 so the answer is 0.6 that's the probability that uh, the chosen marble is red. And again, I stress the fact that in this problem, we were interested in probability of R, but we what we knew was probability of R given BIs. So we used law of total probability to solve this problem. Okay, thank you.